Okay. Uh, here is something that's not a book jacket. Um, uh, every now and then I will get a, a job that's not a book jacket or a book or in any way book related and I will pounce on it because um, I get sort of labeled as a book guy, which is fine. I love books, but I love to, to do other sorts of things. So this was a project that was initiated by the Wolfsonian Museum in Miami. And for the 4th of July and for the, an some, the anniversary, I forget what it was, the 50th anniversary of uh, Norman Rockwell's Four Freedoms, they invited designers to interpret them. Now, in case you forgot what these are, these were um, arguably some of Rockwell's most famous images. And they were created to help the war effort in World War II and uh, to, to get people to buy war bonds. So the first one was freedom of speech. Now, and these, and these were incredibly successful, raised millions of dollars for the war effort. Good for him, good for them, terrific. It's a very different world now, as we know. Um, now, this was last summer, so I still did not have proof in my heart that some douchebag was not going to be in the White House. So I was like scared out of my pain. And what I wanted to do was, okay, I'm going to take these four freedoms, and I am going to show how they can and have been So freedom of speech. How do you abuse freedom of speech? This one's actually sort of complicated. Um, I'm actually not a fan of flag burning, um, basically because I think, it, as a designer, I think it sends a really screwed up message. It's like if you're mad at the government, why do you want to burn the flag of your country? It's not the same thing. It's like when those people were burning those effigies of George Bush. I was like, yes. <laughs> that makes more sense. Burn the fucker. I, I guess. <laughs> I get that. Don't burn my country. I want to live there. Just burn the alcohol. <laughs> so, alright. Uh, my tagline became freedom is free. And this is abuse of freedom of speech. So, okay, freedom from fear. Uh, with a little thought, this became really obvious. Um, I just hate guns a lot. Really, really hate them. Um, and this is kind of why, uh, and, you know, not to, to, like, delve into it, but, you know, this kind of entitlement that, like, I have a right not to be afraid because I can blow your fucking head off. Uh, don't like that. Worship was the hardest one. How do you abuse the freedom to worship who you want to worship, which I'm pretty much in favor of. But I think, um, then I thought back to a documentary I had seen, and, and it's funny, if you go on Corvus uh, image, like the Lord God image bank, one of, on the web, Corvus images, and if you do a photo search on God hates fags, you will get that. Um, this is some enlightened gentleman uh, somewhere, I believe, in Colorado, um, who is, you know, obviously he's got a, some sort of DHL line to, to God and, and knows what he likes and wants, but fuck him. <laughs> the most obvious, I mean, I'll tell you, even in New York, you walk down the street and you see it, uh, you, everyone's abusing this one now, even Oprah again. Uh, <laughs> this isn't good for anybody, especially this gentleman, so uh, there you go. Uh, and this show opened um, in, on the 4th of July at the Wolfsonian Museum in 